But what about something like this, where we do an if, and then we may have many different instructions, many different expressions and statements here to do um, only if a is less than b. Right. So the machine code uh, is going to have uh, some sequence of expressions in the body of if, right? and I've just made up addresses for them. Right. So you might think, well, what we can do is so taking advantage of the fact that the program counter is a register, we might think of conditionally moving this new address, 203, which corresponds to after the if, into the program counter. Similarly, if we have an if and an else, then we might do something like this. We might say, okay, if a is greater than b, we want to jump down to the else. So we conditionally move address hex 303 to jump down to the uts position if a is greater than b. Otherwise, a is less than b, and we do this, and then when we get to the end here, we need to skip over the else to uh, to continue where they both continue down here at 305. So we would unconditionally move the hex address 305 into the program counter. The reason there are question marks on the the right though is that this doesn't actually work because C move and move can't uh, set the program counter. Um, also, it turns out that C move instruction has only been around for 20 years instead of the whole 40 year history, and this is obviously the kind of thing that needed to be done in the first 20 years. So instead of C move and move, there are specific instructions for moving into the program counter. And uh, the conditional version is called uh, conditional jump, or J with uh, some condition code after it. And there's a source but no destination because the destination is always the program counter. So there's a jump equal, jump not equal, uh, jump if the sign bit is set, and so on. And for unconditional moves, the corresponding of move instead of C move, um, it's just jump source. So that always just sets the, the program counter to um, the value specified there. So now, the way we would actually write these kinds of conditionals uh, in the machine code here is that a less than b, that means we want to jump down here if a is greater than or equal to b. So that's a JGE instruction. Similarly, down here it's a JGE to get down to the else. Um, but when you're done with the then and need to skip over the else, it's a jump, uh, jump instruction with some specific address to jump over it.